Well, I can't lie, short days in the winter time, as much as I love skiing, it has me a little bit depressed. But I'll tell you what doesn't, the promise of spring and water sports coming back. So here today I'm at the Seattle Boat Show. I'm gonna go inside and see what the hot toys, water toys are for 2020. I hope you like them. I know it's gonna raise my spirits and get me fired up for a season on the water. And stay tuned towards the end and you'll see me use a toilet in the middle of an entire conference. Don't leave before that. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and see more videos like this. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon. Oh, by the way, that's where the Seahawks play. Seattle Seahawks. Woo! Here I am with the nicest ticket lady ever for the Seattle Boat Show. What do you think I'm going to see when I go inside? You're going to see some fantastic boats. Boats? I'm looking for water toys, like the best toys for 2020. Will I see those? Yes, you will. Okay. I'm not sure where because I haven't toured the whole thing yet, <laughs> but I'm sure they're there for you. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. Okay. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Here I am with Paul from Bakes. I've known this guy for 20 some odd years. Yeah. We're going to talk about a few of the hottest boards that are out there for 2020. Paul, talk us through it. I'm Paul from Bakes. Uh, this is the 2020 Ronix Sprocket. This is uh, one of my favorite go-to boards. Uh, it's got a real sharp edge. Um, so if you're one of those bottom turners uh, that really want to kind of grab really big carb or really big bottom turns, uh, it's got a lot of bite to it. Uh, so you can really get out and get it. It's uh, got a real flat rocker line, um, and they do some little speed channels down the center of the board, and they're doing that to generate speed and drive. So if you're trying to get that pop volley, you're trying to get that uh, 360, you can drive a ton of speed down the line, and you have plenty of time to do your trick and momentum to come back out of it. But the best part about this board is uh, beginner to advance. You know, you can. So it's sell it to a family and you get someone that's never surfed before, they can take it out and it's not this total wild child. Um, and you can get someone advanced and they can get out and rip on it. So That's the Ronix Sprocket. Ronix Sprocket, yep. Three awesome. sizes. Yeah. This is the Ronix Crossover. Uh, this is a new board this year. Uh, it's a little bit of everything if you're looking for that, uh, you know, bigger guy board but mellow or even just a cruiser that's got some energy to it. Uh, the crossover's got a lot of whip, um, fun board, real thin profile. They got their new wax mat this year um, that's got this real nice flat profile but no wax in the boat to get anything all over it. Uh, really fun. Uh, mellow board but definitely one of those uh, ones to get out on. Right on. Thanks, Paul. This is the Hobie 2020 Mirage, and this is all about the Mirage drive. This is the 180 drive that refers to the mechanism that pulls the fins around 180 degrees, and that puts your boat in reverse. This is all the action that's required. This is kind of overkill. It brings it up to the hull, which protects those fins. Then you're on your way again. Adjustable to the length of your legs. The seat is all kinds of adjustable. But it doesn't move back and forth in the boat, so the rods come to you. So this is for the fishermen on the go. That's exactly right. Looking like it has a little trailer. You can carry that trailer, yeah. tow it around somewhere. With very little effort, about three or four miles per hour, good trolling speed. And you got a fish finder. There's a fish finder installed on this boat, yes. It's uh, rigged for electronics. You've got a couple of uh, electronic ports on either side, so you can choose which side you want to mount. Mount your fish finder. Maybe Lake there. fishing, saltwater fishing, but not whitewater rapid fishing. Uh, I wouldn't trust this in whitewater rapids, especially when you want to protect your drive. However, there is a new feature for the 2020 models. It's called the kick-up fin, and this is a new safeguard against damaging your rods. Uh, if you beach it too early or you hit a log or a rock, that's nice to have. It unhinges and it goes right back in place. And you're From the look at you guys, I can tell that's probably something that would be good for you. Yeah. You'd run into a rock or two. We approach springtime. One of the more popular models we sell is the Mirage Eclipse. This is the 10 foot model. There's also a 12 foot model. So am I, am I jogging on the water? Uh, you're doing a kind of a Stairmaster type. Wait, of, uh, show us this move again. Okay. How's that?
<laughs> All right. So you have a removable uh, handlebar here. What looks like handbrakes, of course, they do you no good on the water. Those are rudder control. So the rudder line goes down through the handlebar, connects right here through the board, and operates your rudder. Gotcha. Party march. Paul, my prediction, my man, 2020, the year of the foil. If you don't have a foil on your boat, you're just missing out. It is more fun than you can have ever. Flow state, three-dimensional surfing, it's unbelievable. Now, I notice you have a liquid force here. I've been predominantly on slingshot, so I'm interested to learn a little bit about what liquid force has. Right on, so this is the liquid force 2.0. Uh, liquid force made it really easy for customers foiling. Uh, they have basically have a beginner, immediate, advanced foil board. And uh, the 2.0 is made for that beginner. Uh, it rings in around about a thousand bucks, so you're not breaking the bank to get out on the lake on foil. They uh, make it really simple. Uh, the basically, the, the 2.0 has a real mellow foil, so that side to side isn't incredibly aggressive. Uh, when you start getting into the more advanced boards and you're starting to really get that carve, that's what you're going to get out of a more performance board. But definitely worth checking out Liquid Force. I feel like it's a great product and they make it really easy for foilers to get going and move forward. Well, I gotta tell you, I get frustrated every time I'm putting my boat out in my, my fenders. They run out of air. I don't wanna have to pump them up. And it's tough to get them to fit right to the boat. What do you have there? What is this thing? This ain't your average uh, hot dog fender now. <laughs> so this is the new, uh, this fender, uh, the Century fender's been out for mission actually for a couple years now. Uh, they basically took all the hassle out of uh, using your fenders. No more lines, no more crazy tie-ups. Literally hang on the cleat. Pull it tight and stuck to the boat. Can you do that one more time so we can see that? Yeah, absolutely. Just around the cleat. Yep. Drop around the cleat. Pull it up. It's that easy. That is awesome. Anyone can put the fenders on your boat. You still run dock lines through it. It makes it awesome for tying up with other boats because you have you have that surface area kind of stuck to the side of the boat that it can't shift and pop out of the way. So yeah. Pick them up, they're awesome. <laughs> Funny, as if they need to tell us who that is behind me. Here I am with Joe on the pop-up dock. Come on, man, seriously? Yeah. Put this off the back of my boat? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Uh, well, they need place like this, right? You throw it over your shoulder. Uh, weighs about 49 pounds, uh, def uh, deflated, inflated. It's eight feet by seven feet. Uh, it's about the size of a king size mattress, it'll hold 1200 pounds. So you can get your whole family on there, you can set beach chairs, a cooler, you can fish off of it, you can walk to the very end without it tipping. Uh, and it's really almost more buoyant than uh, a wooden dock the same size because it's just air and drop stitch fibers inside. Uh, you can deflate it a little bit, make it a little bit more comfortable like an air mattress to lay and sleep on or you can put at full pressure, full pressure so you can literally walk off the boat onto the dock and uh, extend a swim step. So it's a lot of fun. So I think so far I'm gonna have to call this the number one seafarer party accompaniment. Your own dock. Yeah, it is a party bar. That's, uh, that's the one thing we, we guarantee is you'll have a good time and you can get as many people as you can fit on there no matter how many uh, beers you have. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Joe. If you're going to be foiling this right here from Slingshot 2020, this is the 99. This is the big dog right there. Before the big dog was 84. Now it's 99. You weigh over 200 pounds. You want something? This is the one to go for. Check it out. Woo! There's the 2020 board. This one has a little foot strap on it. Optional for you. Little grip. Shown on here is the Gamma 68. Comes standard as the as the wake foil package. There's not a dad out there who doesn't have to have an inflatable to throw the kids on behind. Of course, those inflatables sometimes go around in circles and make a bunch of waves. It ruins the smooth water for others. However, it's fun for the whole family. 
Let's check out these inflatables. I love these little models. Tell us what's up in 2020. Uh, yeah, so if you're a parent, your kids have always asked you to go tubing. It, uh, it gets them in the water and makes them want to go out on the boat, so you kind of have to do it. Uh, tubes. Yeah, there's uh, everything from the super fun wiener dog. <laughs> the wiener dog. The wiener dog. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, whatever gets the kids stoked. Uh, we have a lot of tubes that where the kids are actually inside of something. Parents seem to be really go-to to that if they're about you know seven or eight years old and younger. Um, once they get older than that, teenagers, uh, they're looking for that real flat deck tube, something that dad's gonna whip them around, catch some airs, uh, have a little extra and fun. But yeah, we got the full gamut down at Bakes, so come check them out. Down at Bakes Marine. Here we go, I love these little models. Shows you exactly. That's how many people found that. Is that a two or a three-seater? So this uh, this model comes in a two-person, three-person, and four-person, so. Nice. Yep. And then this one, the Radar Galaxy. Yeah, this tube is uh, massive. This uh, this is the model, but the actual real tube is, uh, it's probably about the size of your boat. So it's a, uh, they qualified as a four-person tube, but this thing is huge. I hear you are, Number one in the number two business. That's right. And uh, I was wondering, can I use this toilet? It's got water in it. Uh, yeah, sure. It's like, is this a functioning toilet here in the middle of the boat show? Yes, it is. Oh my gosh. That's unbelievable. Now, how many people have you actually found using this toilet? Um, well, we've had about 400 flushes. <laughs> this boat show? 400 flushes? I'd say that's pretty good. Yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Just in case you need a place to put all your toys, check out this yacht. I know we're talking about toys and water toys, but this is so badass. I just have to, I have to show it to you. It's really cool. Amphibious, sea legs. You just, you want to go into the water? Cool, put down your wheels. You want to come out of the water? Cool, just flip those things up. It's probably one of the cooler looking things I've seen. Imagine taking this out on a surf safari. 31 days of rain in Seattle, you gotta be kidding me. So looking forward to the water season. I hope this review of the water toys was good for you. Get out there, have fun, get excited for the spring. If you have any questions, please just drop a comment down there. If you have any products you want us to review, just let us know. Uh, it should be a great 2020. If you wanna learn about wake foiling, check out our wake foiling how-to videos. Uh, please do subscribe because we'll be doing a whole bunch of uh, wake surf videos to help you jump 360 other tricks. So get out there and have a great time and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching.